I want to become one with you. And the only way that I can become one with you is if I communicate with you, right? But y'all don't want to do that. Y'all want the special magical person that your ancestors sent you and that, you know, is your twin flame and all of this bullshit. And you're not doing the inner work necessary to have a successful relationship. All of that twin flame shit is bullshit. My wife is my twin flame, of course. But if we didn't develop our relationship, she would just be another girl. I would just be another guy. endings new beginnings if you don't communicate that i want this relationship to be over with and i don't want to work it out i don't want to talk no more i don't want to i want to start over again and if you don't have those conversations then you invite sneaky leak energy because at the end of the day our relationships don't unless they're like unless they're actually built upon a foundation of communication and understanding then you crave social physical and sexual experiences if you're not getting them from your partner then you're going to want them from someone else covid and the lockdown is easing up people taking off their masks you like damn she look good under that mask Wife Schmife, husband Busbin. I don't even know what them words mean. Sneaky Link energy. The Sneaky Link seat, like you have cuffing season, which is the end of end of summer, begin of fall. So you cuff, you cuffed up, you get your bay for the winter time. Y'all hibernate together, and you starting to see the snow melt a little bit. I don't even got the like the thing over my face no more, you know, got my beard out and shit. Yeah, love is in the air. Sneaky link season is in the air. It's the end of winter and the beginning of spring because you got this need for not even a need. You crave that which is not that you haven't experienced. And in relationships and building a foundation and knowing yourself, you should communicate this day one. But what tends to happen, you say, baby, you the only person that I'm ever going to love. My penis don't even get hard for other women. My vagina don't even get wet for other men. I only look you the finest thing that I ever did. See, I don't like no other guy but you because you pay the rent. Right, but you boring, you uninteresting. We don't have an actual connection. When this season change, you start to feel that sudden burst of energy. Now, if you don't have a way to channel this energy, you gonna figure out to sneaky link with people. What you will notice is that as bad as you wanna have sex, the person on the other side wants you the same way. And you like, oh, let's do this damn thing, right? but you also not channeling your energy correctly and you also destroying your family and you destroying your relationship because you don't understand how to channel this Mars conjunct Venus energy conjunct Pluto. Although we can transform and start relationships, you don't have to be drastic with it. Mars can be very hot and very like harsh, right? But conjunct Venus is like this receptive and love energy. So to break down that analogy, at your roughest, toughest, scruffiest energy, there is somebody that's out in the world that's really seeking a dirty, scruffy type energy. Like what you seek is seeking you at this particular point. And what you see, what you feel is this love in the air. It either feels great if you single and free or it feels like this is the worst week in the world because I can't do what my soul and my heart wants me to do. 
So you got to really think that you got to really think about two ways who you're hurting and what you're building, because another is not even to say like, oh, I should be free and I should just fuck whoever I want to, because that is going to make a toxic situation even more toxic. It's like we just doing toxic shit. Semen retention is not the foundation for men. Semen retention drives you crazy, right? You have to be able to be communicative about sexual understanding and sexual energy. It's not about the act at all, whether you're retaining your semen or releasing your semen. Naturally, you should retain your semen, but at the same time, you should have deeper communications with divine feminine energy about sex. You should figure out what she wants and say if you're the man that's going to satisfy and serve her needs or not because you can do all of the semen retention but if you don't know how to communicate to divine feminine energy you just don't know how to communicate and you got all of your semen saved up but you're still a fucking idiot not you personally but just the idiot type of dude it's not sexual practices that we need to learn we have to learn how to communicate and this is where y'all fall short at y'all everything is spiritual everything is magical but nobody is actually developing their relationships i say if you're serious about a relationship and you're serious about finding your partner then you serious about developing that with somebody that you can communicate with saying your intentions i really do love you and i hope that we can spend the rest of our lives together and i hope we develop a relationship based upon communication so we can find our one true goal that we can both focus on i want to become one with you and the only way that i can become one with you is if i communicate with you right but y'all don't want to do that y'all want the special magical person that your ancestors sent you and that you know is your twin flame and all of this bullshit and you're not doing the inner work necessary to have a successful relationship all of that twin flame shit is bullshit my wife is my twin flame of course but if we didn't develop our relationship she would just be another girl i would just be another guy okay so are you able to develop your relationships even though mars conjunct venus presents high sexual energy high sexual attention if you can acknowledge sexual attention and and high energy then you can have the conversations to talk about manifestation and what you're building together and what we're actually doing when we are cohabitating even if it is we're just fuck buddies that's a good thing to know so you don't have your hopes up and ladies if he say he just wants somebody to fuck don't don't then give him the pussy and then just feel like he's going to now wife you up he already told you what his intentions were with you so if you with that then be with that if you ain't with that be intentional with men let them know that you're seeking a marriage and even deeper don't seek a marriage with dudes that you don't seek sex with somebody that you're not married with because the dude that you actually want to marry is going to ruin the relationship with him sexually energetically because when it comes to communication you should be able to communicate your deepest and darkest sexual truths if you operate in on foul energy sexually where you just don't feel like talking about it is going to come up in one way or another nothing is going to work itself out without you developing it and i'm sorry that people lie to you but the reason that your relationships don't work out is because you don't communicate okay so i know this is like far-fetched to you and you think that your pussy is good and that you was going to like you know drape a man off in your good pussy or your 14 incher but the reality is no matter how good your vagina is no matter how good your magic stick is you're going to need to communicate sexually 
So let's read what sexual communication is. So when you look at this Mars conjunct Venus energy and you go out this weekend and you meet the man of your dreams, you don't invite him up to your hotel room. Y'all have coffee and y'all have a conversation because if y'all can make it past this conversation point, maybe y'all are sexual compatible. Don't just keep your fingers crossed when dealing with a nigga. Have the understanding and the realization of who this man is. What is sexual communication? Sexual communication is usually defined as the degree to which individuals can express their preferences regarding sex. Do you like kissing, oral sex, intercourse, so forth and so on? I like to look deep into your, to your eyes while we in the copulation period. I like to, I like, my thing is, what am I? I ain't trying. I'm about to tell y'all all my preferences out here in these streets. Let me slow down. Individuals with higher sexual communication skills are more likely to express their sexual desires and to initiate their preferred behaviors. A high level of sexual communication often means that individuals not only disclose their sexual preferences, but are also assertive enough to ask their partners to fulfill their desires. Studies show that sexual communication is positively correlated with sexual satisfaction. In fact, some researchers show that sexual communication, particularly the ability to ask for specific acts, is a mediator between sexual self-esteem and sexual satisfaction. Other studies show that higher levels of sexual communication positively correlates with more orgasm experience and a higher frequency of intercourse. Studies show that this is true for men and women alike. So as bad as you want to have sex and all of the tricks and flips and dips that you're doing, but you're not fucking talking about it. You're not communicating it, but yet and still you want something for which you can't communicate. So now you tune in and tap into the magic and the spirituality and the reality is none of that shit is working for you. A person that's going to talk to you is going to waste your fucking time. If they're not going to talk about their true intentions and their true sexual energy. This is, this is where people fall short at. So I'm asking you to my ladies out there, 